Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. I want to talk about the word homeostasis. And I have the definition uh, written down right here. Uh, once again, it's homeostasis. And it's the maintenance of relatively stable internal physiological conditions or the process of maintaining a stable psychological state in the individual under varying psychological pressures pressures in other words it's uh it's the maintenance of how things are are kept in balance uh we know that physiology uh deals with the normal functions of living organisms so in other words it's relating to the process and activities that keep uh living things alive and psychology i want y'all to guess this is the study of the human mind and its functions especially those affecting behavior in a given context mental characteristics or attitudes of a person or group so in other words uh there's things uh that keep the balance in our body um uh, there's a there's a system of, of how our uh the way that we think it's kept in balance and it's called homeostasis, the maintenance of all that. Now, I want to say this. Spiritually, we have a homeostasis system too. Spiritually, I want to show you something. How does God keep us in balance? How does God keep our mind in balance, keep our bodies in balance? I want to show you this. Hebrews chapter 4, and we'll start at verse 12. It says, for the word of God is quick, which means uh, it's alive. It says powerful, which means it's capable of doing what the Lord says it will do. And it's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Now, number one, I want to say this. We are spirit, but the soul complement, complements who we are. Our soul is our mind, uh, our emotions, the way that we reason. And so a lot of times we get wrapped up in so much junk that we fail to realize who we really are. And so sometimes we think because the way that we think, uh, the way that we respond to things, that that's who we really are. But the word of God says, listen, I have to come and separate that. I got to show you who you are and then show you watch this, how to get that soul back right. So in other words, God says, listen, your soul is not who you are. It complements who you are. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In other words, the, uh, the word of God will teach you how to... Uh, how, how to take your your thinking patterns, how to uh, the way that you riz, reason, uh, to, uh, show you how to give glory to God even in that. Now watch this. It says, uh, and of the joints and marrow, or it's, it, it divides the soul and the spirit and the joints and marrow. Just like you can't see your soul and your spirit, because why? It's invisible. Your joints and your marrow, watch this, even though you can't see them because they're covered up, God says, listen, I am such a powerful God that I even know how to help what's, what you can't see that's a part of you. I'm going to try to catch this. See, a lot of times we look at people and we can tell exactly what's wrong with them. But then there's some things you can look at them and you can't tell. God says, I'm a God that can fix what you can see, and I'm also a God that can fix what you can't see. And then he says, and God says, I'm a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. The <clears throat> the thoughts there, I want y'all to catch this. What's this? It means uh, deliberation. Deliberation is full, full consciousness of the nature of one's act and its consequences. Hmm. Planned or intended, one uh, uh, done or said on purpose. I want y'all to catch this now. This is very important. God says, I'm able, watch this, if you allow me to plan your thoughts before you even get them. Oh my goodness. Y'all got to catch this. People say we have no control over our thoughts. But when the word of God saturates your life, you give God the authority to plan your thoughts before you even get them. Oh my goodness. In other words, God says everything you do will be on purpose. You watch. Oh my goodness. Now this is the process. But I want us to catch this. The word of God is able. Watch this. To give us full consciousness of our own actions, uh, the nature of why we do things. Uh, and then he says, watch this, it's planned uh, and said and done on purpose. What a mighty God we serve. And then it says the intents of the heart. Now the intents there means having an understanding of your purpose. In other words, the word of God understands who, who you're supposed to be. It understands, watch this, what you do before you even do it. And it says the state of mind with which an act is done. So in other words, God says in order to keep balance, keep maintenance on the way we think, maintenance on, on the way that we respond or what we do, while it says spiritual 
homeostasis. Oh my goodness. This is such a powerful word because God says, listen, I'm so powerful and so mighty that I understand that in order for your organs to work right, there's thousands of chemicals that, that, well, says that has to maintain balance. So therefore, the billions of cells that you have will operate right and do its job. God says, listen, it's the same way. I have to, what well, says, the word of God will keep you in balance. So therefore, you think right. Therefore, you talk right. Therefore, what you do, watch this, it's done on purpose. In other words, you understand exactly what you're doing when you do it. Uh, well, it says the state of mind uh, that you bless somebody with should be to glorify God, not to get your name out there, not to make you look good. So God says, listen, I will teach you how to keep balance. And the way God keeps spiritual homeostasis is through the word of God. Love you and have a wonderful day.